fearing their jobs on the line. Local service, social service providers listened closely to the governor's speech today. WMBD's Hannah Hilliard spoke with some health care workers today and continues our team coverage. Hannah. Marvis, we last learned that last month this budget impasse has forced one of the state's largest social service providers to make significant cuts right here in central Illinois. Today, as the budget stalemate continues, other homemakers are worried they may be next. I just thought it was a lot of rhetoric, actually. You know, Devonna Bird and other home health care workers were not impressed with Governor Bruce Rauner's 2017 budget address Wednesday. Everybody's doing a lot of talking, but nobody's doing anything. I don't know what families he's talking about that, that he's got the best interests for, but uh, but it, it's 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 not a. Uh, it's not working class people, it's not poor people. The group of workers gathered outside the Lutheran Social Services building. Power in numbers. To show their solidarity. The organization used to help seniors in the area, but last month eliminated those programs, leaving those in a similar situation concerned. We really make a lot of money as it is, but if that's taken away, you know, then we won't have any income. It's really just a matter of time, something that affects uh, one person will ultimately affect all of us. And until a budget is passed, they will continue to fight. All we can do is just pray and just and, and, and get out here and support and show that we, we, we care. This is needed, you know what I'm saying, and push it through so we can continue to take care of these people.